So lay betting is a term given to a betting type that you can place on a betting exchange online, whereby you take somebody else's bet, much like a traditional bookmaker would. No, placing a lay bet doesn't mean you're betting on something to lose in every instance, it just means you're taking somebody else's bet because there is a mild difference. As we'll explain with an example on the screen in this video, I'll also show you the different aspects attached to lay betting and how you can place a lay bet. But before you do, I just need to say that this video is not sponsored by anybody, so pick an exchange of your own choosing, whatever you like to use, um, all lay bets are the same, they might appear differently on screen visually, different colours of different websites, but they do the same thing. Also, if you find this video useful in any way whatsoever, answering your question, helping you out, then please consider tapping the like button down below, because like I say, we are not sponsored, there's no incentive for us to do this otherwise. Okay, so if we get on with this example, you can see on screen here, um, I'm going to use Betfair Exchange, just because it's the largest one, um, and it's the one that most people are probably familiar with. Smarkets, Matchbook, BetDAC, they're all very similar. Um, different colours like I said in the intro there. So to place a lay bet we need to take somebody else's bet and that's why it's very important we use a betting exchange. You see the exchange tab on Betfair at the top here in the left uh, because they also have a sports book which sometimes confuses people but sports book is like the traditional way of betting thing, uh, things in a bookmaker's shop um, you may have done in the physical sense in the past. So if I select uh, Newcastle v Leeds this evening um, you can see there's lots of different marketplaces here and we've got blue uh, boxes on the left and pink boxes on the right. Now if I hover over my cursor there you'll see that that's just showing 3 to 1 so that's shown us uh, the different types of odds format for that bet. Now that's roughly speaking in terms of fractional odds so I don't want to confuse people but looking at Newcastle here if you want to back them i.e. bet on them to win it's currently available at decimal odds of 3.95 um, which is very close to the traditional odds of 3 to 1. Now, on the right, in the pink boxes there, you've got lay bets. So that's doing the complete opposite. Now, there's a slight difference between these prices, known as the spread, um, and that's because, you know, essentially they can't be the same on the exchange, um, because at the point where they are the same is where people match bets, um, and the bet against each other is placed. So as the name uh, hints at there on exchanges, one person wants to place a bet to win, another person wants to place a bet to lose. Um, they exchange bets against each other and the winner gets the money after the event has taken place. So to show you an example of how a lay bet works, um, I'm placing a lay bet on screen now. I'm going to tap the pink button there for Newcastle. Um, this shows us in the bet slip over on the right, the exchange slip, that currently uh, a backer's odds, i.e. the person wanting to place the bet to win, is at 4.1. And their stake might be, say, for example, £10, which populates liability over on the right-hand side of the betting slip, which is £31. Now, the reason for that is because 4.1 times 10 is obviously £41, minus the back of the stake, which is £10, gives you a liability, i.e. the amount you stand to risk when placing a lay bet of £31. Now, if I click Place Bet here, confirm the bets on the screen there, you'll see that goes into the marketplace and a couple of other things have changed on screen. Now this is just the same if you're using a betting website or an app or like I say, different provider on Smarkets for example, the back bets are, are green, the lay bets are blue. Um, but over on the left here, you can see now, currently, it shows us the different outcomes if a different uh, outcome should take place at the end of this event. So if Newcastle win, because we've laid somebody else's £10 bet at odds of 4.1, we stand to lose that £31 liability that was shown over on the bet slip. However, if Leeds should win, or the draw should win, then we win £10, because Newcastle didn't win, and we laid somebody else's bet. And that's why, in the introduction there, I said that when you place a lay bet, it's not necessarily betting on against something, it's taking somebody else's bet, because there's two alternate outcomes here with placing this lay bet on Newcastle. So it's all very simple. Placing a lay bet is taking somebody else's bet. The liability shown is the amount that you stand to lose before placing the bet. It shows you in the, the populated bet slip there. And obviously their stake is the amount you stand to win. Now this becomes very interesting when you're doing other things like maybe arbitrage betting or match betting, which is an extremely popular way to make money in 2021. So check out the links in the description down below. But there's a software site there called Profit Rush. We'll take you through it step by step on how you can place lay bets against other back bets in order to lock in a profit from bookmakers bonuses and offers and promotions. Now if you've never heard of match betting before then you probably don't believe it at first but really you should. Um, it's a very simple way of making a side income. Um, some people, uh, it tends to be the exception rather than the rule, but some people make a full-time income from match betting 
but uh, it's an ideal way in 2021. I know a lot of people um, are suffering right now, could do with a little bit of extra cash. It's a good way to make a side income with extremely low risk. And the reason I say that is because there can be some risk when placing match bets, because if you put the wrong figures in, maybe you select the wrong selection, uh, something is voided, something like that. Although there is extremely low risk because you're matching two bets against each other. We'll put another video in the end screen here. Um, but when you match two bets against each other, you cancel out the risk, get the free bonus from the bookmaker and turn that into profit. Like I said, the link below will show you how to do that.